Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to look at a beer from Evil Check Brewing Company. This is Lana Del Rye. This is a black IPA. Per the can itself, it has a it is a 6.5% ABV and 35 IBUs. Going by untapped, untapped shows the ABV is 6, but right on the can it does say it's 6.5. Looking at some of the notes on here, this is hopped with Simcoe. Mosaic and Cascade. Thanks to Mike for picking this up for me. Uh, one thing that he noticed, and obviously I'm noticing right now, to me this is not a black IPA because it's already looking brown. But we will go. I can smell it already. Chocolate color head. So I would say half small bubbles, half medium. I don't know why usually you get the medium bubbles in the center, but now like half of the medium bubbles are on one side, half of the or small bubbles are on the other. Right now we do have a three finger of head. If we look at it, very, very cloudy, dark, muddy brown color. It is not black at all. Let's go ahead and get a nose. Big citrus, some fruitiness, and pine smell in there. I'm not getting any alcohol, any roasted uh, malts or anything like that. Yeah, that's about all I'm getting. Big citrus with a little bit of fruitiness, then some pine in there. Pine's not overwhelming, but it is there. You do know it's there. Let's go ahead and get a taste. I am picking up some uh, chocolate notes in there, maybe some caramel, toffee, something like that in there. You are getting some citrus through it all with some pine. They do mention uh, bitter chocolate malts in the description and you, you are getting it. And maybe that's why it's not as black. They're using some kind of roasted malt that's not like a black roast or a special roast or something like that. But yeah, it, it, it does throw you off because when I think of a black IPA, to me, you're only using those darker malts to make the color black. You're not adding chocolate. Kind of sweet in there. So yeah, you're getting the, the chocolate up front with some citrus, maybe some fruitiness, a little bit of pine in there. Bitterness is nothing, but for 35 IP, IBUs, I don't think it would be. My guess is they're using a lot more hops in the end of the boil or dry hopping than they are at the beginning. The smell does not, to me, blend well with the taste. You are getting a good smelling black IPA out of the smell, but I don't think you're getting it in the taste. It's a good taste to me, but it's, it, it's not a IPA, like a big IPA. I would probably have to go with a 4.2 out of 5 on this one. I love the smell, like I said. The taste is good with that kind of chocolate, bitter chocolate up front, then going back into the fruitiness citrus, then a little bit of pine. But I would like to see the chocolate toned down because it is a black IPA. I, I don't think there should be that much chocolate, maybe some caramel in there. I don't think it should be there. Um, can date is 5-25-17, or package date, I should say. So this is about two weeks old. Yeah, overall 4.25, that'll work for this one. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. 
Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.